Good morning, good morning guys. Waking up to this, this morning was just like the most incredible feeling ever. Just to hear the sound of the sea and the sounds of these insects and birds. Oh. And then I flew my drone uh, earlier this morning and the shots that I got, wow. Anyway guys, today we're heading off to the Marine Association for Tamo. And we're supposed to be there by like seven currently 6.30 and we're heading off for the dolphin census at about 7.30 so basically what's going to be happening is we're going to be on the boat and we're going to be counting the dolphins as we see them so it's not quite like we're going to enter into the water what we were being told was when you when there's dolphins around you if you enter and start following them they, they could either just go away or they could start bullying you wherever they are but if you enter the water and they swim towards you it's kind of like they've accepted you and then they want to swim with you and and they're all friendly and stuff. Hey guys. Hey boo. Good morning. How are the you? bikes here? Yep. We have to go. Are you ready to go see some dolphins? Yep. Yeah, so this is Reinhardt and he's the one who organized this trip. So what's the plan for today? So today we'll go for the dolphins on Bay from now 8.30 to roughly about 11. And then we go snorkeling after around one and then we go have a lunch at Sunni Island. That's so we're gonna snorkel? Yeah, we're gonna snorkel. Oh, yes. yes. So after that we're gonna have lunch, there's some games at the island and then uh, a sunset in the middle of the ocean. We're gonna anchor our boats and watch the sun go down. <laughs> Dude, next thing you know you just fall and then what? <laughs> we'll just leave you. It was at this point that they knew he, he fucked, fucked up. up. It was at this moment Jackson knew he fucked up. Guys, so basically what we're doing now is we're in the dolphin territory and we're just moving across the area so that we can actually spot the dolphins. So we've spotted the dolphins and now we're heading towards them. There they are, there they are. Oh wow. Wow. This is our situation right now. There are like four dolphins in the water. More than five. More than four. Well, there's a lot of dolphins, but look at all this. Like they've just been surrounded and all of us are just chasing those dolphins. So it's it's not even nice. Just a while ago the sea was so calm, but now it's extremely rough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the situation right now. <laughs> we're done with the dolphin census, now we're heading off to go and snorkel at this place called Mina Creek. How, how did you do the sleepy thing, man? Yeah, like, what I even? I need to learn that. You, need to, you, ha you basically hold your breath and then turn into like a banana. <laughs> and then exhale as you sink into that coral. We're heading on to that island to go and eat some food. On today's menu, a lot of seafood. Yes. Kirat, look, I found Kairat. <laughs> We've been dropped off at this place called Sudi Island, which is still on the Mida Creek, and we're here to have some lunch. And I have to say that seeing those dolphins for the first time in my life was just something so incredible. They're so 
beautiful. I, I, I don't even know how to explain how I feel right now. But the one thing that I didn't enjoy as much was the fact that there were just these few dolphins are, and they were just being surrounded by loads of boats and stuff. It was just... But anyway, we're gonna have lunch over here and the coolest thing is they're actually gonna start preparing our seafood over there, back there. And we're just gonna sit here and eat, enjoy some beers. Oh, but it's so freaking hot outside though. <laughs> yeah. It's it's more impressive than open it with your teeth, okay? I didn't mind it already. That's my party <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So the food has started coming in. They started off with a sort of stew and rice, which was kind of like <laughs> great dad. Very great one is like really good. <laughs> but we got also got fish. Red snapper fish. It's basically fish tikka and it tastes so good. Lobster and Can you have some here? Oh man, now that was some good seafood. Canoes. Canoes. What's he say? He's telling us about how fresh the lobster he eats every day. And the crab. Ah, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. Telling yeah, us, yeah. you yours comes get in ice. ice. Yeah. <laughs> out of the water. Guys, so that is legit a blue colored crab. Just for your information, they offer canoe trips over here um, at 500 shillings. But anyway, main reason why we're not actually going on the canoe trip is because it's too hot and probably just end up baking to death. If you are ever going to go for the canoe ride, just get a hat, some sunglasses. If you get an ice cooler, it'd be great because you need water. The journey here on its own. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> yeah, the sand, sand is so damn The sand is not a joke. <laughs> the sand is not a joke. Ouch, 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 ouch. If you want to come and buy some souvenirs, you can just find a lot of stuff over here made locally. And I want this awesome bracelet that's been made of baobab seeds. It looks so cool. And they're so like, so, it feels like suede. Mm -hmm. And the beads are the flag of Kenya. How cool is that? Okay, we changed our minds. We're going on to the canoe. <laughs> All right, so off we go. Hopefully, there's shade down that path because the sun right now is dead. <laughs> But the guy who's guiding us back there, he says that this canoe has been carved from one piece of wood. And you can carve the canoe either with trees like jacaranda or mango trees. How freaking cool is that? Oh, that's a little crab. That's so cool. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That is pretty cool. What? Yo, that's freaking awesome. It has one big claw and the other one is baby. It's got, it's got a big freaking claw. You know what they say about Crabs with big claws. <laughs> <laughs> Some canoe trip. The next thing that we're up to is we're actually just waiting for the sunset. It's currently 4 p.m. so we have to wait till about 5 so that we can get back onto the boat and they're planning to go to like the middle of the ocean and just anchor over there and that's where we'll watch the sunset. So this is what they've been up to <laughs> while we're waiting to leave the island. Oh wait, 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 I know I know what we can put, I know what we can put. Oh god, that was So we grab that. Guys, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> okay, so we're making the mermaid little. I don't even know what should just leave him here and go to the boat. You guys know what this calls for? Drone shot. How does that feel though? It feels great. This it thing feels is going to cool you. Wait, 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 do this. Get out. 
We'll see an imprint. Just, uh, <laughs> there it is. Can I have a big booty? <laughs> That's my booty. <laughs> Dude, I suggest you go and wash up, man. That sand is gonna eat you up. Yep. But that sand's gonna me, kill you. Watch me, watch me. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. We've had an awesome time in the sea on this island, and it's time to head out to go and watch the sunset. <laughs> As the sun has been setting, we've been channeling through the mangroves and it's such an incredible experience. So first of all, the water is so calm and then the other thing is the mangroves look so amazing because of just the way the sun is hitting them. So like the sun setting there and the mangroves are there and we've just been hearing like the insects, the birds, the sound of the ocean. Look at that. Wow. Now that is... So we are back at the Eco Tower and oh, I need to go and freshen up. Today has been such a long and tiring but such an incredible day. I think I'm gonna end the vlog over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fan of the day.